Hey everybody, welcome back to Vedic Sage. I'm Dr. Dhaliwal and today we're going to be talking about the management of kapha dosha. Now kapha we can think of as the qualities of heavy, dense, slow, cold, oily, and dull. So just for simplicity, we can think of kapha as heavy, cold, moist, and slow. And we'll look at kapha from a systemic standpoint and look at which classification of herbs are beneficial for kapha individuals. So the first classification of herbs that we'll take a look at are diuretics. Some kapha individuals have an excessive water element within them. And the expression of that is increased water retention or stagnation of water that can manifest as fluid edema or just water retention. So diuretic herbs are one classification of herbs that directly help remove this excessive water element by promoting the kidneys or promoting urine output and therefore removing that excessive water element from the systemic circulation or just the body in general. Despite the effective and direct use of the diuretic herbs, it really still doesn't go to the heart of the matter of where kapha accumulates and is predominant. So we'll take a look at the second classification of herbs, which are diaphoretics. Diaphoretics promote sweating and help to remove excessive water quality, for example, from the systemic circulation through the skin and into the atmosphere via sweating. So these herbs should be used under the guidance of a professional or qualified practitioner. So we mentioned the classification of diaphoretic herbs to illustrate how we can remove this excessive water element under certain conditions such as a common flu or a cold where this is excessive congestion due to an increase in water element. The third classification of herbs are the expectorants. Okay, and this helps to remove the increase in kapha that can accumulate within the lungs. So an increase in kapha can express itself as increased pulmonary congestion or even sinus congestion. So we may want to consider an expectorant type of herb to help remove the excessive phlegm and mucus within the uh, lungs okay, or the pulmonary system. Interestingly, from an Ayurvedic standpoint, the strongest way to remove kapha is through therapeutic vomiting using certain emetic type of herbs that help to promote the vomiting reflex. Another interesting aspect for kapha individuals is that the fact of the heavy, cold, and slow qualities that belong to kapha dosha tend to impair the digestive fire, which we've talked about before, which is known as agni. So due to a diminished digestive fire, or the digestive capacity, often kapha individuals have a slow sluggish digestion. So one of the classification of herbs that we want to consider for kapha individuals are digestive herbs that will stimulate that digestive fire and improve digestion. Lastly, often kapha individuals will benefit from a laxative type of herb which will improve bowel function and promote bowel movement, helping to remove an excessive earth element within the kapha individual. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, take good care.